Well, hello everybody. Um, I want to show you something I learned about um, adding Bluetooth and QT. It's two, it will be two videos. I did already a video about uh, QT5 with the MESA 3D Galileo VC4 driver, end-to-end -end solution uh, with Bluetooth, and I ran all the examples on the uh, Raspberry Pi and everything is working fine eventually. It took some time but everything is working so I have a video you can watch it. In this series of video I want to start with the QT5 again but now with the Raspberry Pi user land um, drivers and uh, uh, applications. So basically there are two options to use the OpenGL. One is the using the Mesa 3D and one is using the uh, Raspberry Pi user land and one is using the device integration from QT it's called device in integration Q, Q, KMS and the second one the RPA user land is using device integration BRCM so if you see in the internet two kind of device in integration KMS and um, EGLS KMS or EGLS BRCM you, you will know that EGLS KMS is using the Mesa 2D, EGLS uh, BRCM is using the RPI user land. So, um, suppose we want to start. This is the configuration for the 64-bit um, um, of the Raspberry Pi. And here we will not see um, anything about the Mesa 2D or RPI user land because it needs the 32-bit. So we will create a new and fresh um, configs okay and x config so we have the 32-bit initiating. Um, again, in the previous video I used the Mesa 3D, now I just need the Mesa 3D um, not for the Galileo VC4 driver, but I use the Mesa 3D um, uh, sorry, wait a minute um, Okay, let's start from the beginning. Okay, we choose ARM and the compiler toolchain. We select the external because we own external toolchain with glibc. And this is okay. Now we have um, UQT5 in uh, Xorg because if we select the internal toolchain, we need to use glibc in wchar. So um, let's select for example xorg and for the xorg server let's enable the server and I will tell you why I do it because I just need the keyboard okay this this will give us QT5 will give us the keyboard otherwise the keyboard, uh, keyboard will not work also what we need is libx um, lix xvc for the keyboard and lib uh, okay so what we need here is the uh, user land RPI user land okay this one once we have this one we can go to the um, to the QT5, this is by the way QT4, you can go to QT5 and select GUI module OpenGL OpenGL module we will select the PNG for application that use uh, a graphic support uh, Divas and also the declarative, this is the QT Quick, the QML 
support and uh, that's it oh EGLS support this is very important this is the EGLS support and remember this EGLS support with the user land will give us a device integration of EGLS FS underscore BRCM and basically I hope that I remember everything but if not everything is documented here uh, let's see okay this is for the Bluetooth uh, we are not talking about it just now um, there is a little bit uh, mix here okay so we have QT5 and let's follow everything to okay one thing I found in the internet is that when we use the uh, RPI user land we don't need the um, uh, overlay the KMS overlay because remember the VC uh, the um, RPI user land using uh, not KMS but BRCM so it's already included in the RPI user land so the line that we add to the um, um, uh, to, to config txt we don't need to add it in the RPI user land okay otherwise we will get device in use um, okay so and okay this is the configuration the uh, environment variable that should be added as before and um, we need the QTA QPA font deal because Qt is installing the uh, Qt is searching the fonts in a different place and by the way I forgot to add fonts so we, we should add fonts okay so let's uh, search for fonts the deja vu and everything font Uh, 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 font awesome all the fonts we can enable everything I'm using the deja vu font okay so we add fonts um, and I tell him that the fonts uh, build is installing the font in user share fonts deja vu and because Qt is searching it in some somewhere else like user lib fonts and doing a link doesn't work so telling him where the font will be solve the problem of the font enable terminal keyboard will have, give us the control C option to exit from the um, um, application without need to reboot um, EGLS integration as I told you actually we don't need to put it but it's nice to have because it does use the EGLS BRCM and uh, we told about the detail that we don't need to put and final conclusion regarding the this mode so up to now I managed to, to um, get the quick control example working but for example for the maroon which I able to run on the VC4 Galileo Mesa 3D and set up a KMS whatever let's call it this big name um, I able to run the maroon and all the examples but here I, the maroon and other kind of example give me bus error so I didn't investigate it uh, much but at least some basic application like uh, all the quick controls are working and also my own compilation this is the demo of the quick controls this is from uh, from Qt um, creator when you create Qt creator with quick control 2 
this is the low road um, so this is also working on the on the Raspberry Pi 3 and uh, this is what uh, I said before in order to get because at the beginning we, without initializing the XORG and the keyboard um, I didn't get the keyboard working so I initialized the this driver and it does it does help okay and as a summary everything I like to add the summary of compiling the Qt in command line this is the only way I managed to compile it not using the Qt creator but still it's working for me it's uh, I like it um, this is the summary of how to do it actually it's taking the build root environment you uh, I'm telling the using the activate script where is um, uh, all the compilers okay and the compile script is using the QMIC form build root generating using the MK spec uh, using uh, generating the make file and uh, running this will create us the make file and the MK spec should be changed or should be created a new one for our compiler so the compiler that uh, Lineao is uh, generating is called R Linux GNU by HF G++ and we need to create a file in the uh, MK spec under Qt base MK spec we need to create another file so what you need to do is just copy uh, cp -R, copy the director one of the director of the arm and replace all the naming to this name with this prefix so you create a, um, a file and so this is the directory I'm using so activate sh is the path to the compiler and the compile is the configure using the MK specs running activate then running compile generate us a make file and once we have the make file we can type make and um, generate the hello world once the hello world is ready we can copy it using SCP to the target and run it on the Raspberry Pi so that is it um, this video um, explaining how to use the Qt file with the user land it's not perfect I know um, not all the examples are working um, currently I leave it because I have the Mesa 3D with the KMS overlay working fine for me so if I need all the full features it does work if someone knows or find out why I get this bus error you can uh, please mention it in the description below um, thank you very much and have a good night